What if everything you're going through is preparing you for everything you ask for? What if the struggle is leading you to a beautiful chapter in life? The best is yet to come. Hey guys, how y'all doing? I know it's been a little minute since I've been out here. Um, I haven't spoke to you guys in a while, but mainly I've been busy. I've been working and trying to get back while I was, but um, I just came on here to give you guys a little update and a little 411. Um, God is still working on me. And um, I feel like it seems like the more you get closer to God, the more trials and tribulations come come to you and everything seems like it's just all hitting you at one time. But God knows exactly what he's doing, you know what I'm saying? He just continues on trying to test my faith and to see if I'm going to continue to stay focused and stay firm in his word, you know what I'm saying? And I've been having a lot of tests and trials lately. Um, I really feel like what I was going through recently this week was a test. And um, I wouldn't say that I gave up on the situation. Um, I kind of did. But I feel like I did what was best for me at the time because in my mental, because I feel like if I had stayed in that situation, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been right. It probably wouldn't have turned out right. So I'm still learning, y'all. Like, um, my walk with God is still beautiful. It's always beautiful. But I'm still learning about a lot of things and I'm still trying to figure out things. Um, I feel like once I start working this job, I'm not going to say that my focus got completely off God, but mainly I wasn't praising God like I was doing before, before I got the job. And so in the midst, when I felt like everything was going great, God had to show me, hey, Tamisha, I need to step in. And so that's the reason why he, he brought that type of ruckus in for me to get back on track. And it's sad to say um, God has to do that. He has to put something in front of you in order for you to acknowledge him. But um, I asked God to forgive me because, you know, I was so focused and so happy that I was making money that I really forgot. I'm not going to say I forgot about God, but it's like I was so busy focused on myself and my own and trying to get where I needed to be, where I actually took my focus off of God a little bit. And so I feel like God got a little jealous. And with him getting jealous, he allowed the devil to come in and shake some stuff up so I can get back on track. And so, um, I just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys, um, to, no matter how good things are going, don't forget God, always acknowledge God, because when you feel like you're up and doing good, God can come in there and shake some stuff up and then you can be back exactly where you was at. So, um, and continue on keeping your head up and continue on praying for me, because, um, I have a lot of stuff that I have, I'm going through, and, um. I don't want to continue to speak on it. I just want to continue on having faith in God and giving God my all because um, he's the only person I can rely on at this moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, my kids, they're too young to understand. I thank God for my kids. I thank God for them being in my life and being a comfort and a peace to me. And then also me understanding the trials and tribulations that God is always going to put upon us. It's like... When you get closer to God, everything always hits you hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, things come and hit you real, real hard. And so, it's up to you to continue on acknowledging. Acknowledging every blessing and every trial that God has put on your life. So, um, I just want to continue on encouraging you guys to just keep your head up as well as I'm encouraging myself. And just continue to pray for me, y'all. And I'm going to continue to pray for you guys also. Um... You guys have a good night. It's 11.02 and I'm tired. Um, I just want to come on here and express that to you guys. But I love you guys. It's been a great day, guys. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Smooches.